Welcome back. You should already know who it is and what you are watching. As always, I'm Chef D, for Chef State of Mind, and today we're gonna be making something real simple, real easy. Um, we're gonna be making shrimp and grits, all right? All you can use grits and shrimp, okay? But right here, we have our onions and garlic. We have Swiss chard here. We have our shrimp, of course, and we have any kind of chili you wanna use. It really doesn't matter. And of course we have our grits and our cream, okay? So, give us a minute to get everything all ready to go for you guys, and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that you have your shrimp defrosted, now what you're gonna wanna do, come in here cameraman, come on. Don't be scared. So, we got our shrimp here, all right? I'm gonna peel that skin right off. Easy. Wanna start from underneath, that's the easiest way to do it, all right? Okay? So then, I'm gonna come in the back, I'm gonna get the vein. It's really not a vein, it's the di digestive tract, okay? So if I open that up, you can see all of that. You do not wanna eat that, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull that out, and then you're gonna rinse this under cold water, okay? Do not, I repeat, do not skip this step, okay? So, we're gonna peel all these shrimp and we'll be right back. We have our chilies here, I'm gonna show you how to de-vein these, all right? or how to take the ribs out, whatever you want to call it. You're going to cut that in half. I'm going to put your knife right in there, running across that white part, all right? Because we don't want our shrimp and grits to be too hot. So we're going to take all those seeds out, all those veins out. And that's where most of the heat is kept in any kind of pepper, all right? So now that that's out the way, I'm going to cut off the end a little bit. And we're going to flip these. We're gonna cut it upside down. It makes it a lot easier to cut through it. See how effortless that is? Especially if your knife is dull. If it is dull, I have a knife sharpening video, okay? I'm just gonna put the rest of that into our container that we have. Okay? Now, we're gonna switch over to these grits. See, this is what cooking is all about. It's about multitasking, right? So, I'm gonna put that on high heat. We have three cups of water, one cup of cream, we have a pinch of salt, and about two tablespoons of butter, all right? I'm gonna keep whisking while you're pouring that in there, all right? Then, get all that come to a boil, you're gonna reduce that down to a simmer, whisk every two to three minutes, four to 15 minutes, all right? Now, we're gonna let that go, and we'll be right back. And I'm gonna show you how to make the saute of the Swiss chard, onions, garlic, chilies, and shrimp. All right, thank you. We got our saute pan nice and hot, nice and ready to go. We got a cube of butter, and we got a little bit of olive oil. You should already know what this is called, all right? And you should already know why we're doing it, right? If you don't, there'll be an annotation somewhere up there to my lamb video, which explains it. Okay, so I'm gonna swirl that around. I'm gonna take a half onion and a six cloves of garlic. We're gonna throw that right in there. I'm gonna season that. Remember, you always wanna season that every step to layer your flavors, all right? Salt brings out the natural flavors, the true flavors of anything that you're cooking. So long as you don't over season it. Okay. So we're going to let these cook become translucent and we'll be right back. So our onions are getting pretty close. You see that's they're starting to caramelize a little bit. It's on some of them are still translucent. So at this point, that's when you're going to want to add your whatever kind of chili you're using, if you're using any, and then we're going to add the um, we're gonna add the shrimp. Then at the very end, we're gonna add a Swiss chard, all right? Because that's gonna take the least amount of time to cook, all right?
Okay, so our grits are were finished. Our shrimp was done. Our Swiss chard was nice and wilted. Um, and it's that simple, folks. Just make sure your shrimp is fresh. Make sure it smells like fresh water. Make sure it's nice and firm. Make sure it's not cloudy or anything like that. Um, and you should be good to go. All right. So thank you for watching. Like always, make sure you comment, share, subscribe, and like my video if you liked it. Also, click these videos over here. Subscribe down here. We'll be back next week, just like every other week, for the best tips, tricks, and solutions to all your culinary problems. As always, I'm Chef D for Chef's Stay Mind.